Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will present my top 7 tips in Fusion 360 in order to design faster and more professional. Without any other introduction, let's get started. The first tip for today is about change parameters. Let's say you have a complex design to make, but for our example, we will create just a box, so three dimensions. In the modify menu, we have here change parameters. Let's click on it. Here it will appear a window where we have user parameters. Let's click on the plus sign and let's add the first parameter. For example, let's write length. The unit it will be in centimeters and the expression let's say we have 20 centimeters. And by the way, you can also write an extra comment. For example, longest distance. Then press OK. And here we have the first parameter. Click on the sign again. And for example, let's write width. Then, for example, OK. And another one, height. Expression 15. Press OK. Then press OK. When we want to create a box, instead of just writing for every time, OK, starting from a point and now write 20, tab 10, it is much faster and easier, especially when we want to modify after it, here, instead of 20, length, and we can press enter or we can click this part and you can see it now there is locked and there is an fx letter so that means there is a function up there. Press the tab key and now let's write with. So now we have two functions for each of those. Press enter and let's add instead of a number let's write height. So now there is the height here, but the beauty of this command is that we can also apply some functions, other functions I mean. For example, let's make it two times bigger, so times two. And you can see it, there is bigger for two times, or we can make it two times smaller, so divided by two. And you have it. But as I said, the beauty of this command is that, for example, I have some modifications to do. So instead of going back, double clicking on it, changing here the dimension, you can just go to this panel, change parameters, and instead of height, for example, a height of 15. For example, let's write 30. And after that, you can see that it's two times bigger, even though the function here there is with divided by 2. So if I let it without divided by 2, it will be even higher because I changed the parameter. The next step is soft modification in form modeling. For example, I create a form. So a box, why not? Okay. I will add some more layers here. And the height, let's say it's this smaller. Good, it doesn't matter too much. And then press OK if you are fine with that form. When I select a point here, vertex, and I go to edit form and I drag it up, you can see it that there is just that point moving and the other points not so much. So you can see the difference. But I have here a tab, soft modification. And when I apply it, the situation is other. You can see here some colors. For example, here I have dark red and here kind of pink. Let's go back, let's undo it and let's make it again. So edit form, soft and for this time when I drag it up it is more smooth. So for example there are more points that are moving so the original distance is the other. Face count I said for face for example and I can also select them. And you can also see the red color. Those points are the highest and the other one are with a normal red and then with pink. So these points are almost not moving. But you get now the idea what is the difference between soft modification and without it. A great tip, especially to gain more speed, is shortcuts for commands. So for example, in every menu, I have some letters. H, I have F, I have M. A and so on. For every time, for example here I have E for extrude. 
When I press E letter, it will open the extrude command. But you saw already, I have some commands that have no letters. For example, let's go to box. Instead of clicking box, opening the menu, I have here three dots. Click at those. And I have here change keyboard shortcut. So here I can write, for example, B letter. And every time when I press the B letter, it will activate the box command. And I'll press OK now. And let's press B letter here. Now I'm able to draw a box much more faster. Moreover, I have the B written here. So in this way, I can gain more speed using shortcuts for every command that I use the most. Another tip is to use constraints first, then dimensions. For example, let's create a new sketch, go here, and let's create, for example, a shape. You can see that there are already some constraints, but let's delete them. Now, when I want to add a sketch dimension, you can click this button or you can press the D letter. For example, here I want to have 10. Or this arch, I want to be on a radius of 4, for example. You see, it is not right, it is not good. So, in order to have no problems, let's go back, let's undo it. Let's add, first of all, the constraint. I want those lines to be parallel. And even equal. Also with these two arches. And now to be tangent. And here you can see it's sketch geometry is over constraints. So there are too many constraints. So it is perfect now. Now when I apply it, for example, here, I want to be 10. Okay, no problem. It will be 10 and that one exactly. It will be the same. Here, when I want to press, for example, 4, both they will be 4. So now I have no worries about my drawing. One more tip now is about using the line method to troubleshoot. For example, I have here a shape. I can see that there is no defined shape or in other words, the boundary is not complete. So I can start to draw lines. I can click here or I can press the L letter and I start to draw some lines. Here I can see it. Okay, all the boundaries are closed. I drag another one. Also, I can say the same thing about this shape. If I don't want to draw a thousand of lines, I can also move it. So this one, not a problem, and this one is. Okay, and now I can see better where is the problem. So the problem is in this area. Let's zoom in and I found it. And now there is no problem. I have a defined shape. Let's delete those lines. And in this way, you can find very easy and quick where is the problem or where is the missing gap in a shape. For the following tip, I need to open another model. If you want to know how we can draw this bed in Fusion 360, I'll put a link in the description and a link right here. So as you see, I have more bodies. To be easier, I want to create components out of them. So in order to do that, I will go here at bodies, right click and I have create components from bodies. Click at those and now as you see, I have plenty of components. And for each of those, now I'm able to have a region, to have bodies and to have other stuff. For example, other bodies, plans, to have other features and so on. So now I can move freely in this drawing, as you see. And the last but not the least tip for today is the section analysis. So, for example, let's imagine I want to inspect this bed to see what is it in it, which gaps has, which problems have and so on. So, in order to see that without closing every single object, as you see, without doing it, it is way easier to go here into inspect and to go section analysis. I must select here a plan. If I'm not happy with the plan that I have already from the first origin, I can also create another plan. But let's say I am happy with this one. Let's zoom out and now I can see 
all these parts so for example all this section even though there is the mattress the bed this pillow or this wood part and i have also an arrow here so i can also move it i can also make it parallel or i can drag it so for example i'm happy with this view and i will press ok now i can study it i can search it for more details or more problems if i have or i can just look at it and have an opinion but after that when i finish with my inspection i have here a new part for example there is written analyzes and if i want to disappear what i see i can just click at this eye or i have here a button show or hide but if i have more of those I will just close it the one that I actually used and after that I am able to draw or to edit what I want. And here they are. Now with these tips you will be able to draw faster and easier. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.